Welcome to Lucent Company's how-to video series demonstrating our local lock line of hand wagers. In this video, we will be demonstrating the proper use of our number 3H hydraulic swaging tool. This tool is capable of swaging one quarter through half inch aluminum and copper oval sleeves. Each of our tools comes with a durable carrying case, which includes a complete set of instructions to guide you in the proper operation of your tool as well as a go gauge for checking the finished after swage dimension of your fittings. In preparing your tool for use, you will need to assemble the desired size die set into the tool head. To do this, push the die release button on the side of the lower jaw and place one die of the set into the lower jaw. Center it and release the button. If it is difficult to depress the die pin, pump the handle several times. This will expose the pin and make it readily accessible. To install the die in the upper part of the jaw, press the die release button on the head as shown and insert the die into the jaw. Center it and release the pin. Note the warning label on each of our tools. You will want to make sure that you are not using the tool around electrical wires or in an electrical panel. And always wear safety glasses. Lucent Company highly recommends the use of our Felco cable cutters. These cutters are made in Switzerland and are by far the best cable cutters on the market. The V-shaped construction of the blades are designed to compress the individual strands of the cable as you make the cut so that it gives you a clean cut every time. This allows the operator to quickly put on the desired fitting without any frayed or loose wires. For this demonstration we will be making a loop. Notice how the oval sleeve easily passes over the cable and can easily be formed into a loop. It is important to note that whenever attaching a fitting of this type that you leave a tail at least one cable diameter protruding from the fitting. This ensures that the cable is compressed over the entire length of the fitting. In this demonstration, we will be compressing a 5 16 copper oval sleeve. Starting at the end of the fitting, furthest from the loop, begin to make your first compression. Pumping the handle approximately 25 to 30 times until a clicking sound is heard. This sound indicates that the first stage has been bypassed. Continue pumping an additional five to seven more times until the second stage bypass clicking sound is heard. This will indicate the swage is complete. Release the pressure by twisting the pump handle clockwise while holding the handle in the open position, then moving the handle down into the closed position. After the first compression, we recommend that you use the supplied go gauge to check the finished after swage dimension using the corresponding cavity in the gauge the gauge should pass easily over the swaged area. Since this, is a, since this is a 5 16 cable, the enclosed instructions dictate that two compressions need to be made to complete this attachment. Continue by making the next compression as described previously. Space the swage evenly over the length of the fitting, working your way towards the loop.
Upon completion, check both compressions with the go gauge. This properly swaged fitting will generate full braking strength on the cable. Note that there is no adjustment on our number 3H hydraulic swager. Should your tool ever fail to make a swage that will not pass the go gauge, you will need to return it to Lucent Company for calibration. This concludes our video demonstration. Thank you for watching.